Soccer 605, and I'm here with uh, Coach Merle Askey with the Aberdeen Central. Kind of a justified ending in that match, wasn't it, to tie it at the very end? Yeah, I think we got a little lucky getting getting that goal at the end there, you know. But it was it was it was up and down the whole way, you know. They put a lot of pressure on us in the beginning of both halves, and we just kind of had to sustain that first 10, 15 minutes, and then try to find our rhythm and and move forward when we had the opportunity. And luckily, we got one there at the end. You know, I I really liked uh, the game today because you, you, the teams really had pretty contrasting styles. You know, Lincoln really likes to take care of the ball, and you like to get players forward and attack and defending groups, so it, it just made for a really nice looking game. Yeah, it did, you know, and it's one of those things that sometimes contrasting styles can make make for a really nice game, and, and that's kind of the way it was, you know, they kind of try to control the ball and move it around, and, and we did a pretty good job, I think, of, of trying to absorb that pressure when they got it forward and try to get numbers forward. Um, we got to do a little better job of clean, cleaning up the play and, and keeping possession of the ball a little more, um, and we got to use our li wings a little more, but other than that, I think we're, you know, we're getting there, you know, we just got so many young players that have never played before with us and stuff like that you know we, we lost a ton of seniors last year and a, and a couple of juniors got hurt and couldn't play anymore so it's just a matter it's a, it's a really big puzzle that we're trying to put together right now and we're slowly getting there you know though it seems like you do every every year Merle you lose some really good players to graduation but you always have that pipeline filled with these kids who want to step up and lead I mean you, you saw that all over the field today yeah, and we do, you know, and, and all of our, all of our players that we keep, you know, we we had 58 girls, I think, trying out. I think we ended up cutting 20 girls. So it's it's a really good problem to have. But by the same token, we have so many young players that are trying to find those spots. And and right now, you know, this year there's a lot of spots open, and next year there's not going to be a ton of spots open. But it's just a matter of of us us doing a good job of picking the correct girls, and making sure that when we get through the um, tryouts and stuff when we get into camp and start working that the girls all get on the same page in a, in a hurry and we do a really good job of, of getting them so that they know what we want what we expect of them to do on the field and making sure they're all on the same page so that we don't have any bad turnovers or bad mistakes making. You know um, the, the play is uh, obviously important but the, you know the one thing that every team that I've ever seen you coach uh, will do is they will fight and scratch and claw for you know, every moment the game's on till the final whistle goes. And I, I think that mentality really has served your team well in the past and served your team all the day. Yeah, it does. You know, we, we preach a lot. Everything has to come from within our players. You know, we can't, you know, we talk to them all the time about we can't step on the field and we can't fire you guys up. It all has to come from within. You know, and, and that's what we look for in our players is they have to be scrappers and they have to just play because a lot of times we're going to be, you know, we're not going to be as physical as a lot of teams and we're not going to be probably have the best, as good of ball skills as some of the other teams. But we have, if we keep scrapping and fighting and pushing and, and do, doing what we do, eventually those goals will come. You know, and now it's just a matter of, of trying to make sure that we stay healthy and get everybody to where, where we can be a little more effective on the offensive end and get a few more goals. Well, I was really impressed with, you know, what your girls did today. You got some real speed there. You got some girls who can control the ball. And you got, it looks like some girls who are not afraid to shoot. They uh, defend as a team. So it looks uh, like you're pretty good sliding down in the middle part of the season right now. Yeah, yeah. Right now we're we're looking looking pretty good. You know, we got we got Stevens and Central coming in next weekend, so it doesn't get any easier. You know, and then we got to turn around and, and and play the bulk of our ESD schedule after that. So it's just a matter of, for us. It's just a matter, like I said, of just keeping keeping the girls going forward and taking each step. You know, we talk about every year that we're climbing a ladder to the top, and and what it takes is every time we get out there, we have to take the next step. You know, we can't look past the next opponent, no matter who it is. And the girls do a pretty good job of staying staying focused on what the mission is each week and um, we'll get back on Monday and go back to the drawing board and start over. Well coach I'm going to let you uh, get on the bus I know you're trying to get your team back home but uh, really appreciate your spending a little time with us after the game and uh, while well, it's going to be fun watching this thing uh, prove out to the end I think we got a really good scenario for the final couple weeks of this season. Yeah, I think it's going to be a, when we get to the playoffs. It's going to be it's going to be a free for all, and there's going to be a lot of fighting going on, a lot of, lot, a lot of good teams out there that are going to be wanting to find those top spots, and it's going to be a battle to get to Mitchell. So, well, good luck, Coach. Thanks again. Yeah, thanks a lot, Randy. Have a good day. This video is brought to you by MyPlayerPage.com, the best place for athletes to showcase their information. Visit us today.